Welcome back to Better, everyone. We all know salsa is the perfect summertime snack because it's light, refreshing, and also easy to make. Well, Cologne Jacobson is back from Recipe.com. She's going to show us how to make a delicious peach salsa, and it is good. I was eating it during the commercial break, Cologne. <laughs> Peaches in Peaches. season, perfect for salsa. I never Absolutely. knew. Absolutely, and it's great because it's a nice alternative to your everyday tomato salsa. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to use peaches, which are at their height of season right now. And it's also the perfect combination between sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. Which is perfect to take if you're going to a barbecue or if you're having people at your house, right? It's great for it's cocktails, a little unique. it's unique. Mm -hmm. And it's super simple. Oh, good. And it's not only great with tortilla chips, mm -hmm. but it's also great on a grilled chicken breast with other grilled you know, meats that you would do uh, during summertime. Could you do it with something sweet like a graham cracker or something like that? You could. That's a little overkill sweet, <laughs> I think, for my taste. But you know, it's great with the sweet and savory. OK, maybe if you like sweets like me. All right, so let's let's make it. I'm very, e I'm very excited to see how you make this. OK, so what we'll need are about two cups of peeled chopped peaches. Okay. And here I've used both white and yellow peaches. I like the mix. They both tasted so good. I had to use both of them. And I'm doing some chopped jalapenos. So is there some kind of glaze on here or something no, like that? No, it's just the peaches are so ripe mm -hmm. that they're sweet and ripe and juicy. Oh, so okay. if you happen to have less ripe peaches, you mm -hmm. can always put a little salt on them okay. and that'll make them even juicier. Okay, because those look really good. Okay, yeah, so they're super ripe and sweet. And then we're going to do some Vidalia onions, which are sweet onions. Mm -hmm. Some garlic, which I have grated on a microplane, and I like doing that instead of just chopping them because you get a nice paste, and so all the flavors come together, and you don't get bits of like big garlic in, yeah. the, in the peach salsa. But you need fresh garlic, not like garlic powder, garlic salt. Right, like fresh that. garlic, and mm -hmm. you can buy pre-peeled uh, pre yeah. garlic cloves at the grocery mm -hmm. store. I recommend fresh just because they have a better flavor usually, okay. but if you're going for a shortcut, you can always do pre-peeled cloves okay. to make it easier. Then fresh lime juice to give it a nice little zing, and some chopped cilantro, um, some sea salt, and that's all you'll need. And I'd love to show you my favorite way to chop a jalapeno pepper, okay. because I think some I, people yes. don't really know I, how to do I that. I definitely don't know how to do it. So all I do is I take the jalapeno, I put it on its point, mm -hmm. and then I go ahead and slice around the center. And the thing about jalapenos is that all the hot spiciness is usually in the center. I mean, that's mm -hmm. where the most that's heat is. That's where the jalapenos seeds, right? Exactly. So you kind of want to watch that you don't get them on your fingers and then rub your eyes at them, right? Yeah. And I always like to use a separate cutting board. That way, you know, you don't get that spiciness into other other things that you're chopping later on. Mm -hmm. And then I flip them over once I get the, the end or the outer edges cut off. And then I just, you want to go really, really small with this so that you get a little in every bite. Because pe people don't want big hunks of jalapenos. Exactly. And there's still a little bit of heat in this part of the pepper, but it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't overpower the other flavors. It just kind of like Look enhances the Look how thin those are. Flavors. Yeah. And so it's really a simple way to do this. Um, and you can practice your knife skills, right? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely can use some skills in the kitchen, always. So go ahead and slice really thin, as thin as you can. And then you stack them all together. And do it the other way. And do it the other now, way. Now, if you so wanted yeah. it to be a little spicier, could you include some of those seeds? You could. But you just, you know, it's kind of a wild card with the uh, jalapenos. You never really know how spicy they're going to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're always going to be spicy in the center with the seeds. But um, you definitely want to go easy at first. Okay. And then kind of And you'll use the entire jalapeno in the dish? Uh, about two to three tablespoons to okay. taste. So here I have about, you know, two and a half tablespoons, okay. I'd say. So we can start assembling the salsa, and you can help me. Let's so do it. Okay. We'll start by putting in the lime juice. In here? Right in here oh, in, in this here. bowl, okay. yeah. And then that's about two to three tablespoons lime juice. Some some of the garlic. garlic. Here, I'll help you here. Okay. Get out of the bowl. Give it a stir. What's next? Onions? And onions. Those are the sweet onions. Could you go a little lighter on the onions if you you're not could. a big fan? And of course, I like to cut them really small, fine chopped, just so that you don't, you don't get any big pieces. We can use those, yeah. Go ahead and stick you those in there. Those I already chopped I already chopped them. We'll have them for later for another batch. And then we'll add the cilantro last. And go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and add the peaches. Mm, yes, and give it a nice stir. And then you can add the cilantro last. Okay. And do we add a little bit of salt? Yeah, we'll add a little pinch okay. of salt. A little pinch. That's optional. Okay. But I like adding salt. It, it it really brings out the flavor. I tend to go overboard with salt, so I I often don't even use it because I then use too much. Right. So right. right. 
I've kind of learned. Just a few pinches. Yeah, okay, I gotta try this and now. And the other thing about the salsa is, I find that the flavors are even better if you make it a little bit ahead of time. So really? So about two hours ahead of time, but you could also do it up to the night before. And put it in the fridge? Right, exactly. Okay. And with the peaches, you wanna make sure that you put a little lime juice on them if you're gonna prepare them the night before so they don't turn brown. Oh. So they still look really nice, Okay, right? a little bit of lime juice on them. Yeah. Here we go. There you have it. Mm. Ooh, that is really good. It's got just the right amount of kick. And remember, you can serve it with the grilled chicken, mm -hmm. so it can be more of an entree type dish. It doesn't just have to be for snacking. That is delicious. You have the best recipes. Thank you. If you want to make this salsa or other salsa recipes using seasoned fruits, like strawberries even, I love yeah. strawberries, go to the website recipe.com and you will also find 20,000 other recipes. They're all delicious. Or you can pick up a copy of the magazine in stores now.